Okay, today I'm going to show you how to restore a bad hard disk that has bad electronics. Can't really do much when the hard disk develop many bad sectors on the platter. Um, that I can't really work with. We don't have the clean room, don't have the same type of platter. So when you have a bad disk that has an uh, electronics issue, I can show you how to fix that and recover your data. So for example here, I have two Samsung HD 501 LJ model, so these two uh, were once inside a network attached storage that I use as a file server and one failed first, so this one you see on the left has a bad disk label, this one actually developed many bad disk uh, sectors and it will make click sound and you know many data were corrupt so this one I removed first and then uh, and this one actually ended up working for a couple more years and recently it developed a problem too. So for example, if I plug this one into an external USB interface here, it will run really, really hot. For example, this, this disk here is a Seagate Barracuda 7200 RPM. And this one is a high speed, high rotational hard drive. And this one doesn't get hot not that hot like this one. With this hard drive, Windows detects it and you know I can use it no, no problem. I just did a full disk scan and there's no bad, bad sector and it doesn't run that hot. And I will show you now if I plug in this disk, this Samsung disk, you will see that it will just spin, keep spinning all the time and it will run really, really hot. So here is some um, the uh, SATA interface on the back, plug it in, turn on the hard drive, enclosure, so you can hear it spinning up and Windows detected the uh, USB interface here and um, if you let it sit for a while, it will just run really, really hot and the disk is always active. And another problem is that in Windows, this one doesn't even show up. So even though it detected the USB interface, it doesn't actually see the hard disk. And I know this hard disk was properly formatted because I did it myself and it used to be visible under Windows. You can see now it disconnected uh, and then Windows pop up with a message saying that there is a problem with the USB. So this happens a lot, you know, I'll connect it and it disconnects and then it becomes really hot if I leave it running. So now I'm going to turn this off. So a lot of times what happens is that people when they have a hard disk with a bad electronic board and they still need the data of the hard drive and you have two options either you repair the electronic circuit board or you uh, replace it with one of the same model so here you can see uh, I don't know if you can see this but let's see a little bit closer so there is a um, 4R7 inductor coil here that looks a little bit burnt I see a little bit of um, dark mark here that wasn't there before and I suspect that's one of the reasons why uh, the hard drive doesn't really work reliably so fortunately I have the other Samsung disk which has a bad disk uh, platter so I can try to use the circuit board from the same model from this disk and replace replace this one with this. So I'm going to just move this from the bad disk into the, the other disk with the bad electronic board. And um, so that's it. should be a pretty easy job. Alright, so I'm going to start with this disk that has bad sectors and damaged platter and I'm going to remove the circuit board from here using some Torx screwdrivers and this one, I think that's a little bit small, so let's try the next size up. I think this one should work. And first I have to 
remove all the Torx screws holding down the circuit board and be careful not to damage anything. Once I unscrew the, the four hex bolts in here, the circuit board is really easy to remove. It was really just held down in place by the force exerted from the four screws and all you have to do is just lift it up. You can see the contact to the motor is done by these four pins here and the rest of the contacts are done by these connectors here onto the um, internal circuit of the hard drive. So all I have to do is swap this one with the board from the other Samsung hard drive and we'll see if that works. Okay now I replaced the circuit board on this hard drive and I'm going to test it to see if it worked better now. Alright. Now it spins up as it does usually Let's see if Windows is able to detect it, and you can hear that the USB is detected. And look at that, now it shows the content of the uh, Samsung 500 gigabyte hard drive. And give it a few seconds to see if it, it would disconnect from this, hopefully not. Running on the new circuit board, this hard drive is still connected and Windows didn't detect any problems anymore with the uh, USB connection and it's been more than 15 minutes and I'm running check disk for any bad sector and also just to see if the disk runs hot to keep it active and so far the disk runs at a normal temperature is not particularly hot and much much cooler than when I um, had it before well, there you have it. This solution will fix your hard drive as long as it doesn't have a problem with damaged disk platter with bad sectors. If you know you have a good disk and you suspect the electronics is causing the problem, then you can just find a disk of the same model with the same type of electronic circuit, replace the circuit board, and generally it should bring your disk back to working condition and at least you can retrieve your important data from it.